Hi guys, I have a Black & Decker Grass Hog Weed Eater. I bought it because it was highly recommended by a leading consumer magazine. We all know that means consumer reports. Uh, they just don't like to say it on commercials. Um, this is a great weed eater. It, like I said, it was highly recommended. It is electric, it plugs in. Uh, it actually scored, at the time, I've had it for several years, it scored the best in its category and it's a great weed eater. There's nothing wrong with it. What I do have a problem with is where did I put it? These things right here, it takes these little cartridges which have two combined into one, two spools of weed eater string. Uh, and this stuff, I, I haven't bought these in years. I keep the same one and reload it out of a bulk package which saves a ton of money but it takes a lot of time and it's a real pain in the butt but uh, I used the same one over and over again last time I bought these they came in a two pack and they were 12 or 14 bucks and every time I use the weed eater I go through at least one if not two of these uh, my wife told me the other day when I was talking about this that uh, she had heard you can use zip ties instead of this string and I had never heard that and the more I thought about it the more I thought you know that's a pretty good idea so today I'm going to try that out I'm going to try using zip ties and see how that works so stick around <laughs> works it's going to save me a lot of time money and hassle uh, first you have to turn the weed eater upside down remove the orange cover remove the annoying spool and if you'll notice there are two holes one here one here it should be simple honestly I haven't tried this I'm trying it live on camera The only problem I can see with this well, and is I don't know how durable these are going to be, but they have to be at least as durable as the nylon string that comes with these things. I have a pretty good feeling this is going to work. And I will post the video, obviously, work or not work. All right, now the only other problem, right here is a blade that's designed to lop off the excess when the string spins, so I'm gonna have to trim this down so it doesn't hit that. There's some side cutters, snippity snip. hard to hold this up and do this at the same time, but there's the second one. So it should look something like this, and I don't see any good reason why this won't work, but I'm going to take it outside right now and give it a shot, so let's see what happens. Okay, well as you can see that was uh, kind of a fail. It worked pretty well. I was kind of excited for a minute. It worked really well for just a minute and then uh, I think when I hit the foundation bricks is what did it. So I'm thinking if it's just hitting grass, not hitting anything else, it works fine. But as soon as it hits a hard surface, the zip ties break. So I'm going to reload this up, try it again. 
try not to hit any hard surfaces and see what, how that does. All right, I'm reloaded up again with fresh zip ties. Gonna give it another try, trying to avoid hard surfaces. Um, in all fairness, I do have to say these are about the cheapest zip ties you can find. Really thin stuff. Uh, thicker ones may work better. Uh, I actually thought it worked pretty well on the grass, but let's see how it does. Let's see if it will hold up for a minute. say that worked. Uh, so can you use zip ties on your weed eater? The answer is yes and no. Uh, if you're just trimming grass it seems to work fine. I don't know how long it will hold up. Uh, it definitely cuts the grass. If you're hitting concrete, you're hitting bricks, something like that, at least the dollar store zip ties are not going to hold up. Better quality ones? Who knows? But it's a really interesting idea, and at least if you need to use the weed eater and you don't have the actual string, you can use zip ties in an emergency, at least we know that. So, uh, one thumb up. Alright guys, as always, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys.